Little Truett is almost a week old and was two weeks overdue when Kristen Dickerson's water finally broke last Saturday. So by the time we hit the Sweetwater exit, um, I was pretty sure I wasn't going to make it to the hospital. And that's exactly what you can hear her screaming in GoPro video recorded on the way to the hospital. Kristen, Wait, we're, we're like 15 it. minutes away. Speeding, her husband Troy made it to Texas Children's Hospital, but they didn't make it inside. That's right, little Truett came into this world right outside of the valet entrance, Kristen barely making it out of the car. She had gotten out of the car and just froze, like stood there, and me and the valet guy were both saying, get in the car, or no, not get in the car, but sit down in the wheelchair, sit down in the wheelchair, we're going to get That's you upstairs. That's what I thought the worst for was the poor valet guy, because he was going, miss, please sit down, just sit down, and I said, no, no. Thankfully, Troy was there to catch Truett. He was born just as hospital staff ran outside. Is he okay? He's fine. He looks good. He looks good. Kristen Dickerson was well prepared for Truett's birth. She works as a childbirth educator, but she says this is definitely not a story she's going to be sharing with her students. I told my students, this will never happen to you. I promise this is not going to happen to you, but I teach them about emergency birth just so they'll be prepared for it and it can take some of the fear out of it. Truett is now at home with his two older brothers, Turner and Tillman. Because he'd been through this before, Troy thought they had enough time to get to the hospital. Putting on his GoPro, he thought he'd get some of the excitement along the way, never expecting to film a valet birth. It'll be a great story for years to come to tell Truett and um, his big brother, so it's pretty cool. In Rosenberg, I'm Amanda Perez, KPRC Local 2.